Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers. If a, b is equal to zero, then either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. Okay. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to rely on some facts which come from the field properties of the real numbers. The first is, for every real number x, 1 times x is equal to x. The second is, for every non-zero real number x, x times 1 over x is equal to 1. The third is, for every real number x, x times 0 is equal to 0. And the fourth is just the commutative and associative laws. Okay, so now let's actually get into proving the theorem. To start out the proof, let's suppose A and B are any two real numbers. Our whole goal now is to prove if this is true, then this is true. So let's assume that this is true. So we want to show that either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. And the way we're going to prove this is we're going to split this up into two cases, right? We know for a fact that either a is equal to zero or a is not equal to zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to prove in either case we have that a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. So let's start with the first case where a is equal to zero. Now if a is equal to zero, then either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. So there's nothing more to prove. So that completes this case. Now let's move on to the other case where a is not equal to zero. And again, we want to prove that either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. But in this case, it makes more sense to try and prove that b is equal to zero. And to do that, we're going to establish a chain of equalities. So check this out. We know from fact number one that b is equal to one times b. And since a is not equal to zero, statement two applies to a. So really we have that a times one over a is equal to one. So we can replace the one here with a times one over a. But you know what? I'm actually going to immediately apply the commutative law and I'm going to replace one with one over a times a. At this point, we're going to apply the associative law to move the parentheses around the a times b. But remember, a times b is equal to zero, so we can replace this parentheses here with zero. And then by fact number three, we know that any number times zero is equal to zero, so one over a times zero is equal to zero. So through this chain of equalities, we see that b is equal to zero. So we've proven that b is equal to zero, which means either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. So this completes the case where we have a is not equal to zero. And that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.